Hi friends, this lesson is Module 5, Lesson 3. If you know anything about me, you know that my all-time favorite thing to do is to go see a movie. My family also always makes fun of me because they'll say, hey, what do you want to do tomorrow? And I'll say, mm, I'd like to go see a movie. Of course, I don't get to go as much as I would like to, but I love going because it's such a special treat. I love just sitting there, relaxing, and being entertained. But you know what is a total upgrade to seeing a movie? Seeing a 3D movie. Have you ever seen a 3D movie? Oh my word, I love them. You know what I love about them? You'll just be sitting there and all of a sudden things are like whooshing by your face and popping out of the screen. And I think, oh my word, it's going to hit me. When I was a little girl, the very first 3D movie I ever saw was The Muppets. And I about lost my mind when they were blowing bubbles and it looked like the bubbles were going to come out and bunk me on the nose. It was amazing. Well, wait, why am I talking about movies? Oh, yeah, 3D. Okay, this is so helpful today to be thinking about a 3D movie because our learning goal has to do with 3D objects or 3D shapes. Our learning goal says, I can describe the, attribute of, the attributes of three-dimensional shapes. Three-dimensional, ooh, that sounds big time. Let's say that together. Three-dimensional. Okay, now we don't normally walk around saying, oh, look at that three-dimensional shape. Normally we shortcut it and we just say 3D. But if you really want to like blow your parents' mind, go home tonight and say, oh, mom, dad, look at this three-dimensional shape. They're going to like lose it. They're like, what are you, like a fifth grader? Yeah. Okay, so, but let's just call it 3D for today. Now 3D shapes are cool. They're just like the movies. They pop out, you can touch them, you can feel them, you can move them. And it looks like a lot different from those flat shapes that are just drawn on a piece of paper like a triangle. All right, let's talk about some different 3D shapes. Now, the first thing you should know is we're going to talk about their attributes. And 3D shapes have faces. What? Cute little faces like this cloud? No, not like the cloud. They don't have a smiley face on them. Now, 3D shapes have different sides that are flat, just like those. And those are called faces. So in this picture, we can see one, two, three, three faces on that cube. Now, of course, there are more because we can't see the other side of it. We're going to talk about how many more in just a second. All right, so as I just mentioned, these are different kinds of cubes. Now, 3D shapes are all around in the real world. We see dice, a Rubik's cube, and an ice cube. Those are all different types of cubes. Let's talk about some attributes of cubes. Cubes have six faces. I'm going to show you this wild drawing. Now, normally when we're looking at a cube, we can't see all the different faces because, of course, they're on the other side. But if I made it see-through, like these look like little windows, and I highlighted just the different sides, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six. We have the right, the left, the front, the back, and the bottom and the top. This is going to be the same for another shape that's very similar to the cube. But as you'll notice, there are six all together. Now each face is a square. Let's look at just one of the faces. Let's look at that front face right there. Yeah, it is the shape of the square. There's four sides and they all have a right or they all have a square corner on the inside. And all the sides are the same length. So that's something that makes the cube unique. All the faces are a square. What else? Ooh, cube slide. If I set a cube on the counter, I could just push it a little bit and it would slide across the counter. Cubes are fun. You can do a lot of cool things with cubes. Another fun thing you can do is you can stack them. If I had more than one cube, I could make a nice tower. It's one of my favorite things to do with my little kiddo, Miles. All right, so that's a cube. Go ahead and say cube. Good job. <coughs> Cylinders are something we see in our everyday life. They're a little bit, they're different, totally different from a cube. And let's, so let's talk about their attributes. A cylinder only has two faces. It has a face on the top and a face on the bottom. One, two. You'll notice it doesn't have a face on the side because that's the round part. And round parts don't really have faces because they go all the way around. There's nothing flat. Now each face of a cylinder is a circle. See? Circle there and circle there. The other fun thing about a cylinder is that it rolls. If I were to set it on its side and then push it just a little bit, ooh, look at that. It's a nice rolling toy. Cylinders are super fun to have. 
and they're all around in our everyday life. Okay, so those are the attributes of a cylinder. A sphere, go ahead and say sphere. Yeah, sphere is just kind of fun to say. Spheres are a joy to have around because spheres usually are things you can play with, like a beach ball or a marble or, well, there's some yarn, but you can always make a nice sweater that would be cozy. Okay, so these are spheres. Now, spheres are round, so they don't really have a face. They're just round all around, and they don't have any flat parts to them. So they're just round. And because they're so round, uh, it's really hard to make them stay still. They like to roll quite a bit. Look at that rolling sphere. Okay? Now, the cube, the cylinder, and the sphere you should have learned about in kindergarten. So those really aren't brand new to you. But we are going to talk about two more that you might not be as familiar with right now. The first one is a rectangular prism. Let's go ahead and say that together. Rectangular prism. Let's do it one more time. Rectangular prism. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to talk about another shape, the rectangular prism, that was similar to the cube. Let's look and see how similar. A rectangular prism has six faces, just like a cube does. Of course, if you're just looking at one side of it, you can't see all the different faces. But if it was an invisible one, or if it was see-through, you could definitely see them all. If you're holding one in your hand, you could just tap on each face and count them up. There would be six. One on the top, the bottom, the left, the right, the front, and the back. Rectangular prisms, some of the shapes are longer rectangles. Like, for example, the front, the front on this one is definitely a rectangle. On the side, sometimes they're a square, but sometimes they're like just little shorter rectangles. It just depends. Just like the cube, the rectangular prism slides. If I set it on the table, I could push it, zoop, and slide it right over. What else do you think it can do? Oh, yeah, you're totally right. If you've ever played with blocks before, you know that rectangular prisms can slide, or sorry, can stack. They're also really good at making towers. Okay, so that's a newie. Rectangular prism. Another new one that we're going to talk about is a cone. Go ahead and say cone. We see cones all the time. Like that ice cream cone is making me hungry right now. And those traffic cones, I see them everywhere on the highway. Let's talk about a cone. Okay, thinking about what we know so far about the other shapes, how many faces do you think are on a cone? Yeah, there's just one. He has one little face and it's nice and flat. The rest of it is all round. Okay, the face is a, is a circle. Yep, there you go. Oh, all right, that was the cone. That doesn't really have too many attributes. The rest of it are, is rounded. All right, so now we're going to play a guessing game. I'm going to ask you, what is it? I want you to look at this object and try to tell me what shape it is. Is it a cube, a cylinder, a cone, a sphere, or a rectangular prism? Ding, 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 ding. Did you say cylinder? Oh, you're so smart. It has two faces on the end, and it's round in the middle. If I set a marker down, would it roll? Yeah, and cylinders totally roll. Good job. All right, what shape is this? Well, I see that it has a long rectangle face on the front. If I counted it, it would have six faces. Do you know what it is yet? Oh, it is. I know it's so hard to say. Rectangular prism. I know, it's hard to say. Try it again. Rectangular prism. But I knew that it was on the tip of your tongue and you were about to say it. Good job, friend. I told you. Today we're talking about 3D shapes and they are super fun. Our learning goal said that by the end of this, you should be able to say, I can describe the attributes of three-dimensional shapes. And you know what? I think that you can. You've been doing a very nice job. All right, so here's your challenge. It's your turn to do a seesaw for your teacher. What I would like you to do is get your iPad and go and find two rectangular prisms in our classroom. I want you to go ahead and seesaw a video of you telling your teacher about each of the rectangular prisms and describing at least one different attribute about each of them. Okay? Because rectangular prisms have lots of attributes, you just got to think about what they are. Remember, if you need any help in your pod or in your classroom, you should find a anchor chart that has all of that good information to help you out. All right, good luck, friend.